say it with me what if i recorded every day of my life forever okay yes i said that i would have a day where i'm not going to be a busybody i'm just going to sit at home that was today so instead of you guys following me on my day i ordered some food we're going to eat together so what was i craving today i went on inish 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 restaurant in london there's many of them in london and i was like tell me like what is your comfort food and i need i hope there's gonna be people there who relate to me yam porridge okay yam porridge i feel like yam porridge it doesn't get it doesn't get the love it deserves like why are we not eating more yam porridge this was like this is like the food that my mom would make me like when i just needed like a little hug um and i always had my yam porridge just plain like this we we know i have a history of eating things in an altar way so i just want to know like is this how everyone just eats yam porridge like there's nothing here like i would just take a fork right let me even see if this yam porridge is nice that's good it's not as good as my mom's i'm i'm going to be very honest it's not as good as my mom's but it's doing the trick mm. there's just something about yam porridge and i told you guys that um i would tell you about my vegetarianism story this is why i ate yam porridge so much the last like six years because it's like the easiest nigerian food that is vegetarian apart from like moi moi oh yes and in my papa moi moi video i said i have eaten moi moi before i have not eaten moi moi with pap before let's get the record straight okay so anyway moi moi is also a great vegetarian food i i used to eat a lot of yam and stew like with no chicken or fish and also remember that they put a lot of stockfish in our stew looky like this could have stockfish right now i think it does you can clarify for me but um yeah just my whole life i've just been an on and off vegetarian maybe since i was like i think the first time ever i was a vegetarian i was like 12 years old or 11 years old and i did that for a few years then went off did it for a few years went off my longer stretch was the one i just finished i think i think that was four or five years and then now i'm back eating meats and it's not for a health reason guys i just sometimes don't like meat i don't like fish and now i like meat i like fish like it's really that like it's not that deep this is good this is exactly what i needed as we know i am just a randomly picky eater i told you in the iceland video i will never eat ketchup in my life i have never tried ketchup i will never try ketchup and i just have beef with ketchup like i don't know why but just going there and smelling it and seeing the consistency tells me that i don't ever need to eat ketchup same with mayonnaise but i think sometimes things there's mayonnaise inside sauces that you don't know that one i can do if i don't know like ignorance is bliss if i don't know i can do it right but i can smell ketchup from like a mile away and i will know if there's ketchup in like food so i've had to go back and return so many burgers because they don't get that when i say remove the ketchup like i cannot eat this food if you put the ketchup inside so um <laughs> not me ranting and raving about ketchup okay so that is my vegetarian story now let's get into this assorted meat i was like okay this is something i've never done i've never like added some shaki into like add it inside the porridge 
and then just see what happens okay so good so good that sorted meat is good this is a place in niche in niche I mean I should not be doing any more free advertising but if you need Nigerian food in London this is the spot It's crazy how much you have to chew that thing. Is there, I was like, is there cow leg? Yes. I was scared there was no cow leg. I was gonna cry. Could this is a nice chunk. So, um, yeah. I just came on here to show my love and appreciation for yam porridge. And the other PSA I have to do is that I just finished Blue Ice, Blue Ice Samurai. I just finished Blue Ice Samurai. Started Gen V yesterday. Love it. I'll be, we'll be watching it. But Blue Eye Samurai like changed my life. Like that show is phenomenal. Like, why are we not talking about this more? Like, did it just come out? Like, am I on the wrong side of the internet? Like, why are we not talking about Blue Eye Samurai? It changed my life so much that I need to watch more anime. Like, I need anime recommendations because i feel like i have a whole missing now and i don't know what i would watch that would be as good as blue eye samurai so this is even more important than the yam porridge like i need anime recommendation recommendations like who but like it has to be good it has to be that level it has to be lit from story to like the actual animation it was just like I I couldn't take my eyes away from it. Like everything was so lit in that. And now I have to wait to, for season two. Like I now get that. Oh my god, waiting for season two is so long. Um so that was the main thing I came to say today. You see? I feel like my energy is back. I just needed that one day at home, doing nothing, chilling. My cramp, like my cramps are better. Everything is better because guess what? We are traveling tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? I need to look at my diary. But yeah, we're already about to catch another flight. <laughs> this bone, there's a big bone in this. <laughs> so pack your bags, and I will see you guys. I'll see my Timmy TV squad tomorrow. I'm gonna choke on this bone. Okay, bye.